Hello and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be looking at the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 and the Enagic Levelux Kangen K8. Here's a quick comparison snapshot. As you can see the 9.5 has a lifetime warranty on all external and internal parts including the plates. It has no additives or chemicals and can be ran completely with no filter inside and it produces a negative ORP. The Levelux Enagic Kangen K8 comes standard 5-year warranty, optional 3-year extended warranty at an additional cost. It is not chemical free. The electrolysis enhancer features sodium hypochloride and there's optional mineral additive as well. And lastly, the K8 produces a negative ORP. So the first thing we did is we made sure the level luck was set to the highest level possible or maximum power for a pH level and we made sure that there were no additives being used. The electrolysis enhancer is completely empty as well as the additive for minerals. So now we're going to dive into some testing. The ORP meter or oxidation reduction potential meter we used was a pinpoint made by American Marine Incorporated. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our base level reading. And how we do that is we take the source water and we test the ORP. And uh, a great way to look at these numbers is the higher positive number is more oxidative and the lower negative number is more anti-oxidative. Most source water is going to be oxidative. As you can see ours here in-house is highly oxidative. And uh, a great way to think about oxidation would be if you left an apple out and it started to turn brown or if you left a bicycle out and it started to rust. When testing our tap water we get a reading of over positive 500 and that would be how oxidative our tap water is. When we test the level up K8 antioxidant potential it brings it to a negative 410. This tells us that the K8 produces a water that is an antioxidant. Antioxidants are basically substances that protect your cells against free radicals and eliminate them. With molecular or diatomic hydrogen being the most important antioxidant and also the most effective because it acts on the molecular level. After gathering our results we can then plug it into our formula. The total change in oxidation reduction potential was minus 926. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 Water Ionizer. So as we get started here, I just wanted to mention that we are measuring the strength of the antioxidant, not the quantity. So although we may have a very strong antioxidant, there could be the case that there isn't very many of them in the water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test the source water again and get our baseline reading. Here we have the tap water, which is our source water, being highly oxidative as before. And since our tap water's oxidation is constantly changing, as you do your own tests at home, you may see slightly different base level numbers, which is completely okay. So as we let this number build up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at ORP and understand why it is important, but it isn't as important as people think. What is most important is the quantity of antioxidants, which are measured in parts per million for diatomic hydrogen, the most important one, and why that is more important than the actual ORP number given. So a great way to look at this would be the ORP number is the weight of a box. And the antioxidants, once again measured in ppm, is how many times you could lift that box up. So although the weight is important, if you don't have a lot of antioxidants, or you don't have the ability to lift that box up a lot of times, it isn't super effective. As we let this number finish up, you can see our results are around a positive 500 oxidation which is highly oxidative, um, which promotes the aging effect. 
And we all know our goal is to reverse the aging effect. And how we do that is we provide our bodies with an excessive amount of extra electrons in the form of antioxidants. So as we get our reading from the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 ionized water, we can see that the number is increasing to be more negative, which shows the strength of the antioxidant and the oxidation reduction potential. This number is going to be very important as it is going to plug into our equation to show us our overall change in oxidation reduction potential. Oftentimes you may notice bubbles in the water, which look milky or cloudy. These are the antioxidants, and they are in the gas form, specifically molecular hydrogen. Because molecular hydrogen is the smallest element in the universe, it's very light, and it tends to dissipate rather quickly. Thus ionized water does have a shelf life, making the quantity of antioxidants extremely important. A great way of thinking of the shelf life or the antioxidants going away is comparing it to carbonation in soda in the way soda goes flat. Now as we let these results finish up, you can see the number achieved was around a negative 780, thus making this water an antioxidant. Now that we have this number, we can plug it into our equation, which also considers our source water ORP. Once we have our equation written, we can see our total change in oxidation reduction potential, or the strength of our antioxidant, which is negative 1,287, making it a highly effective antioxidant for our bodies, which our bodies can now use these antioxidants to donate spare electrons, eliminate free radicals, and give us the ability to heal ourselves. Additionally, you can see that the Level Up KA and the Deluxe 9.5 are very good at what they do. They take your source water, which is heavily oxidative, and they turn it into an antioxidant. Both machines did this with no mineral additives, no chemical enhancers, nor any electrolysis enhancers during the testing. A common term that you might be familiar with is oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is basically an imbalance between the amount of free radicals that are being produced in your body and the ability for your body to counteract or detoxify these free radicals. With that being said, if we're unable to eliminate these free radicals or counteract them, oxidative stress can be a major issue. It plays a leading role in damaging our tissues, damaging our DNA, our cell membrane, which can ultimately lead to chronic diseases. So. Now we're going to test a little bit of the water's pH and the reason we do this is to show we have a constant variable and that the tests are equal. And a little bit about pH. pH stands for potential hydrogen. So the higher pH level we are given, the more potential there is for hydrogen to be created. Whereas a lower pH would give us a less potential for hydrogen. So the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 and the Level Up K8, which are very great machines, can transform your water into alkaline water and also produce a negative ORP reading, which means the water has antioxidant potential. You may also be wondering why we did not use a meter, and the reason for that is to show you how consistent by color the different pH levels actually are. Now, we will test the hydrogen levels for both the Level Up K8 and the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 using the Truslix hydrogen meter. A lot of people skip this step when testing hydrogen, and it is extremely important. You must first clean the probe and the meter before testing, otherwise your results will not be accurate at all. If you decide to do this test at home, make sure you do not touch the probe that we just cleaned. Not touching the probe will ensure we have accurate results. Once cleaned, we are ready to begin testing. Now we can begin testing. Making sure that the machine is on a powerful setting, we can start collecting our sample of water. And here's how we do that. 
Once that setting is selected, you want to clear out the head of the ionizer, which ensures there is no leftover water from the prior test being tested. Then fill the cup up. Once we have the sample collected, we can then use the hydrogen testing equipment to give us a accurate hydrogen level, which is measured in ppm. Once you place the meter into the water, you should see the number start to change and eventually stabilize giving us our reading. For this reading, we got a hydrogen level of around 0.37 parts per million or 370 parts per billion. Now we will take a look at the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5, which does feature antioxidant boost technology, to see what the maximum level of hydrogen we can create is. Molecular hydrogen is measured by ppm or parts per million, whereas one part per million is equivalent to 1,000 parts per billion. Additionally, when testing, we want to make sure that we're not testing the leftover or residual water in the machine. So in order to avoid this, we simply want to clear out the beginning or initial water. This is also equally as important if you are going to get a glass of ionized water to let the machine run for roughly five to 10 seconds, making sure you're getting the highest quality water possible. Another thing you may start to notice is the water is becoming milky or cloudy. And as we described earlier, that is the diatomic hydrogen in the form of gas, which is the most important antioxidant that your body can use. As we put the meter into the water, we can see it jump up to roughly 1.6 parts per million or 1,640 parts per billion hydrogen. With this amount of hydrogen in your cup of water, you can start drinking a lot less and experiencing a lot more. Here's a quick snapshot of the results we achieved. You can see that the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5 put out over four times the amount of hydrogen at a stronger level.